Folks, uh, even though it looks like Hillary Clinton will take the popular vote, we have to accept that the winner of this election was a Washington outsider who no one thought had a shot at running this country, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> because while Donald Trump's position on a lot of issues is unclear, he has a firm position on Putin, and I'm gonna guess it's missionary. <laughs> Here, here's a little reminder, Jim. Putin calling Trump a talented, very colorful person. Trump's response? It is always a great honor to be so nicely complimented by a man so highly respected within his own country and beyond. He called me a genius. He said Donald Trump is a genius and he's going to be the leader of the party and he's going to be the leader of the world or something. What, he called me a genius? I'm going to disavow it? Are you crazy? If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. He's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. The man has very strong control over a country. Yes, and soon he'll have very strong control over two countries. <laughs> the CIA says clearly Russia hacked the Democrats. And yesterday, Michael Rogers, the sitting head of the NSA, says the Clinton campaign was targeted by a foreign power. This was not something that was done casually. This was not something that was done by chance. This was not a target that was selected purely arbitrarily. This was a conscious effort by a nation state to attempt to achieve a specific effect. And immediately after the election, Trump reached out to Putin. According to the Kremlin, the besties had a convo this week. Apparently, they talked about what the Trump folks call the historical U.S.-Russia relationship that dates back over 200 years. Yes, for 200 years, when you think Russia, you think friend. Or, <laughs> wait a second, what's another word for friend? An evil empire. Thank you. <laughs> now. Guys, yeah, great communicator. That's a great communicator right there. That's right. That's right. Now, during their phone call, the new celebrity power couple, I'm going with uh, Donamir Prumpkin, <laughs> discussed uh, threats and challenges facing the United States, which were easy to remember because the threat was talking to the challenge. <laughs> the Kremlin says that this is part of a joint effort to normalize relations. Don't normalize it. It's not normal. Once again, it's weird. <laughs> For Pete's sake, Speaker Paul Ryan called Putin an aggressor who does not share our interests. Lindsey Graham said, this calculation by Trump unnerves me to my core. And Lindsey Graham doesn't have a core. I've done Pilates with him. <laughs> and yesterday, John McCain released a blistering statement calling Putin, quote, a former KGB agent who has plunged his country into tyranny, murdered his political opponents, invaded his neighbors, threatened America's allies, and attempted to undermine America's elections. And McCain knows all about undermining elections. <laughs> despite the fact, despite the fact we know Vladimir Putin's a bad guy, Trump cartoonishly insists that he's a model for leadership. We're here now to answer for this is Cartoon Donald Trump. Mr. Cartoon President-elect, thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. Yeah. Happy to be here. Hello, New York. Thank you for your votes. Uh, actually, don't, 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 thank, don't thank them for their votes. Only 10% of Manhattan voted for you. Then screw you for your votes. President Trump is raising your rent. Well, <laughs> sir, d does Vladimir Putin have some strange influence on you? Stephen, absolutely not. Even though Vladimir Putin is a great leader, strong, warm, like steaming bowl of borscht, I will yet be told what to do by anyone. No, no matter how, no matter how handsome they are. Wait, wait, wait a second. That's cartoon Vladimir Putin. What? What? I, I had no idea he was sitting there, and therefore I am shocked. Hello, Stephen. Thank you for having me on Decadent Television Circus. Well, Mr. Cartoon Putin, it's being reported that you manipulated our election in favor of Donald Trump. What reporters are saying this? Give me names. I will fix. Yes, that, that is totally ridiculous. We're working together for the betterment of both our countries. I've agreed to work with him on Syria. And in return, I've agreed to call him cool guy. Yes. Yeah. You know, what, what can I say? I'm a negotiator. Oh, okay. Well, look, look, cartoon uh, the Donald. How can the next president of the United States embrace a leader who kills journalists and jails political opponents? I don't do that. Do I? I don't. Uh, those reports are lies, and uh, anyone who says otherwise will be jailed.
You just got that answer from him. What? No, we're just good friends. We're, we're so close, we finish each other's... Elections. <laughs> look, look. Look, look. Here, here's the deal. Look, clearly, we've been in a new Cold War. Speaking of temperature, Stephen, your studio is very much too hot. Excuse me a moment. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. I have revealed my powerful abs and heaving Slavic man bosom. You like? Oh, yeah, I love a D-cup. Donald. <laughs> Donald, stare into my hypnopax. You are trusting me. I am trusting you. We are your allies. You are our allies. You will give me Alaska. I will give you Alaska. And you will hand over moose and squirrel. I will hand over moose and squirrel. Mm -hmm. Good job, Donald. Now, let us seal the agreement with Open Mouth Summit. Oh. All right, all right, you oh. two. Don't make oh, me get the hose. Like oh. Cartoon Trump oh, and Cartoon sugar. Putin, everybody. Oh. Stick around. Oh. We'll be right back with Marianne Pogliardi. Knock it off. Knock it. Stop it. Stop it.